I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! I bet I can eat more waffles than you, so that's what I'm gonna do. Waffles are the most perfect food, and I've got a lot to prove. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week I am reacting to two new comedy songs. The first being Middle Age Love by Ricky Lindholm, and the following being Life's Better in Spanish by Melissa Villasenor and Wolves of Glendale. If this is your first time joining us, yes, hello, I am a comedy musician, and I react exclusively to comedy comedy music because that is where my field of expertise lies. What this means for you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not talking over or laughing over the jokes and missing them, so this way I can help discuss how the, the lyrics and video work in tandem to help enhance the comedy. This way I'm also sometimes breaking down or explaining how songs, uh, how songs, how jokes work, because that's always fun for people, and sometimes I'm just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot, whatever you're going to get, but it's a good time either way. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos, get you see these videos early, get my comedy and music early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive into the first video. Um, actually, let us pause. Just briefly, because my camera's running out of battery, I shot the Patreon-exclusive reaction for Stupendium's Frostpunk 2 song just before this, and I talked for like a half an hour, so I've run out of battery power. Bear with me. And I'm back. See, there was no time differential for you, but for me, I had to make an edit. Anyway, let's dive into the first song. This is from Ricky Lindholm of Garfunkel and Oates. Uh, previously, I've uh, reacted to Don't Google Mommy. Uh, which I believe is either from her upcoming album or the one-woman show she just did in Edinburgh, uh, or both, I think. But anyway, new song, full video, let's go. <laughs> Playing piano, xylophone, and guitar all at the same time is really impressive. I also ad uh, admittedly like the kind of VHS aesthetic we're getting on the visuals, although it is not at a uh, old school TV aspect ratio. You wear sleep apnea machine. I'm in early menopause. Let's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It, it establishes what this song is. Middle-aged love. You're wearing a sleep apnea machine, looking like, you know, great value Darth Vader. Uh, I'm premenopausal. Pre uh, yeah, let's. it's time to get it on. Why not? That is so great. <laughs> oh, dance sequence. You've got lots of extra skin. Every vein in my body is visible. Let's go. <laughs> okay, uh, every line is just just set by the precedent of the first two lines. This is the problem that you have currently. Here's a problem that I have currently. Who cares? Time to bone. Um, <laughs> that is an amazing summary. Uh, <laughs> I'm proud of that, clearly. Uh, <laughs> it's that's just a great funny premise for a comedy song. That's yeah, I love that. Uh, let's do it all night long, or maybe just once so we can go to bed early. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I should say this or not, but I'm going to say it. I'm 45, so hashtag relatable. Uh, <laughs> Can go real deep if it feels alright since your hernia is such a brief. 
You can go real deep if it feels all right since your hernia surgery. Wow. Man, like, pulling out all the stops on all of the stereotypical this happens to you when you're older tropes. Hell yeah. You know what? That's that's one of the great things about comedy is pointing out all the the tropes and and milking that for comedy. I love that. That's, you know, it's great. Fuck me like an animal if the animals turn off. <laughs> you can come inside me. It's okay. I'm infernal. I was waiting for what the reason for it to be okay was, would be. I was not expecting for it to be a rhyme, and I should have because it's a song, but the, 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 pardon the unnecess uh, uh, unintentional pun of pregnant pause there, um, but <laughs> rhyming turtle with infertile. You can only do it in a comedy song. Um, holy shit. That is so good. I don't think Nine Inch Nails Closer, when Trent says, fuck me like an animal, he meant a turtle. And that is... Uh, that's what growing up is, kids. Um, that's so funny. And it's okay, because I'm infertile. Holy... Mm. I love good comedy. I love good comedy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fred Armisen? <laughs> Playing saxophone? All right, sure. That's, that's great. Relax, it's time. Now your imperfect body in mind. Your imperfect body. Uh, yeah, being sweet. Herpes in your 50s. I have a lot of weird scars I don't want to talk about. Let's <laughs> Okay, not everything's relatable. <laughs> Wow, uh, man, just, there is so, and it's, it's doing that, that thing I've talked about before, that all, that really good comedy songs, in my opinion, really good comedy songs do, is, is taking that theme, and it's already something ridiculous, that's where the comedy comes in, is from the ridiculous situation, and just building on it for extremes, like, yeah, okay, well, you know, you've got a CPAP machine, and I'm premenopausal, that's fine. But every subsequent one is just more and more ridiculous. It doesn't matter. Clearly, you're in Pound Town. It's gonna happen. <laughs> You've had brain fog since the shingles vaccine. I get a UTI every four to six weeks. Let's fuck. Like I said, Here's what's wrong with you, here's what's wrong with me, it's boning time. Uh, but everything gr going on from that, <laughs> it, since the shingles vaccine, man, there is some like really specific comedy happening here. <laughs> like we're getting like into specifics of like, it's gone from being relatable to, wow, you guys got issues. <laughs> You're still, you're still getting it on, so, so, you know, happy for you. Happy for you. Close your eyes. I know they get real dry during allergy season. Yeah. <laughs> also, also to, to come comment on the, on the vocal performance there, hitting that allergy season, like really getting that grit, putting the stank on it, as they say, on that, on that particular vocal there. To kind of you know get with the mood of the loving song is a great choice, a great comedic choice, but also sounded really good too. Like we know Ricky's a, g a good singer, so yeah. Play. Don't stop, don't stop, unless your couple tunnels acting up for some reason, baby. Rhyming bursitis and tinnitus, again, like why would you be talking about either of those in any other song other than a comedy song? 
Uh, that's beautiful, man. I love that. And, uh, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. Holy crap, this song is great. I was not expecting a tinnitus solo. That's new. I don't think I've ever heard a tinnitus solo in a song. And obviously, uh, it was it was done vocally. Um, I wonder how an a cappella group would uh, interpret that for their version of this song. That would be neat. I don't know why I turned around like a, a youth group pastor suddenly to address you all, but I did. Sorry. It's okay. Back to the imperfect body, yeah. I've got stretch marks and cellulite. All your body hair is gray, but we're not wearing glasses, so it's all blurry anyway. <laughs> all your body hair is gray, but we're not wearing glasses, so it's okay anyway. It's not all gray, but it's coming out in my ears and my shoulders. Bodies are weird, man. And also, meat bodies, terrible design choice. So many flaws. Anyway. Sorry I can't be on top of you. Nothing's actually wrong. I just don't want to. <laughs> That's relatable. <laughs> Nothing's actually wrong. I just don't want to. I'm tired. I don't care. I'll grab whatever balls you have left down there. Holy shit! Like, this is like... This is the pinnacle of the writer, one of the writers of Fuck Me in the Ass Cause I Love Je Jesus wrote because after growing up a little more. Like, that's exactly what it is, but also, it sounds like that's what exactly what it is. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> write what you know, I guess. Uh, that's always a big thing in comedy. Write what you know. Uh, and, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Would you let somebody in the back door after having a colonoscopy? You'd think things might be a little tender. I just had my first colonoscopy. Uh, I wouldn't let the doctor back there after having that. Uh, of course, I was really groggy directly after. Uh, that's a little TMI for me. Sorry, moving on. The thing I have the camera plugged into now is uh, a laptop and it's making noise. Sorry. And that's the best it's ever gonna be. Ah. Alright, that makes sense because it's... <clears throat> prepared, I was gonna say. Uh, I was actually going to say something different, but I've decided to land on prepared. So just relax. It's time. Let go and you'll be fine. Exhale. Where did the other xylophone come from? That was incredible. I... It's ever gonna be here. So just relax. It's time. Amazing. Let go and you'll be fine. Exhale and melt your honestly totally perfect body into Aww. mine. I got really sweet at the end. And kind. <laughs> All the dancers are, cannot get up. Someone's got a foot cramp. That is uh, absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> the next video has, has unintentionally started, but yeah, now let me say real quick. Uh, that is so good. That is a great fucking song. Uh, <laughs> 
Um, and I, I love the build on that. And then to have the ending actually turn into something sweet. You know, it kept talking about the imperfect body and the here's what's wrong with you, here's what's wrong with me. But at the same time, you know, it's two bodies meeting in a, in a beautiful natural thing and a wonderful embrace between two loving people and let's have that natural thing happen and not just you know go to pound town as much as your hips will let you um it's a phenomenal song that is great uh, i apologize for all the noise that is happening outside of the videos in this video uh because i have a cat scratching at my door i have a laptop that's got a fan going and yeah uh there's some occasional audio issues with the capture that I do with these videos that I can't do anything about because sometimes it does it and sometimes I doesn't and I never know until I'm watching the video later. So I apologize if we, the sound got a little crunchy on that or is going to get crunchy on the next video. Not much I can do about it unfortunately so just I apologize if, it, if it's been weird. Bear with me one second. Folks, this is Cheddar Bay Biscuit. Cheddar Bay Biscuit clearly wanted to be in this room and wanted to... Has, hello, yes, I'm talking. You want to see the camera over there? This is Cheddar Bay Biscuit. He will be a year old in a month. He's an adorable ball of fluff, but he's an orange boy. And he... The, the brain cell has not visited him yet, so he keeps scratching on the door. But clearly he wanted to be in here and be on camera, so... Say hello to Cheddar Bay Biscuit, and we're going to let him out. If you want to see more of Cheddar Bay Biscuit and my other cat, Waffles, watch the music video of mine that's advertised at the beginning of this video. Anyway, moving on. Next we have Life's Better in Spanish by Melissa Villasenor and Wolves of Glendale. Uh, I know that Wolves of Glendale have been performing with Melissa quite a bit in L.A. Uh, Ethan from Wolves of Glendale has been performing with her on different shows around LA and also they've been working together on this song um, so yeah uh, let's check this out I know that they've been advertising this this is actually on Melissa's channel uh, not Wolves's Wolves of Glendale's uh, YouTube channel but they've been showing clips of it on their various socials as well I'm out of breath now anyway diving in You can see in the background there, Tom is definitely holding a trumpet, but that sounds like a synthesizer doing a trumpet sound. <laughs> and also we're getting the aspect ratio that I was expecting from the last video. So hooray. <laughs> There's something about, and, and already the joke is established right away. We have something that sounds beautiful and romanticized in Spanish. And then we have the translation of what they're actually saying. And it's something so benign and mundane as daily routine. Uh, this is already a great concept for a song. So, yes, this is, again, we have, we have, right at the gate, we get the concept of the song, we know where your comedy is lying, how are we building on this subject now? That's so great. I love that. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I think, so this is it, huh? <laughs> that whole thing and it ends with all right I, <laughs> just that attitude at the very end 
That's so good. And then, of course, the chorus is life. My life sounds better in Spanish. That's so great. Let's take it back just a little bit here. Sorry if it get, the sound gets crunchy. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I think, so this is it, huh? Alright. <laughs> Alright. Yes! Oh, that's so perfect. Uh, yeah, no, that's, it, it's exactly what, what like you established in the, in the opening of the song. You know, here's, here's something so romanticized sounding because it's, it sounds exotic in Spanish. It sounds, you know, what, what is the mystery of what they're saying unless you speak Spanish? And then the mystery is dissolved once the translation comes in and you realize it's something so mundane as, I wake up because my alarm goes off. Uh, you, or, you know, I set my alarm or whatever it was. Uh, that is such a genius concept for a comedy song. It's, it's so good. I love it. I love it. Love the sunglasses, guys. You don't actually eat oatmeal, do you? Um, <laughs> there, there seems to be some trepidation before taking that spoonful. <laughs> I used to eat, I ate oatmeal when I was a kid because I was forced to, and I have never eaten oatmeal since. I'm not a fan. Uh, <laughs> well, it's 11 a.m. I guess I'll nap. I knew, I knew nap was coming because I heard siesta. I took three years of Spanish in the middle of nine years of French. I didn't retain a fucking thing. My wife, on the other hand, was almost a Spanish teacher, uh, but ended up being a computer programmer instead. So both of us, when we go to Mexico, it's interesting. Um, <laughs> also, I have to say, Melissa's outfit in the performance section of it is very reminiscent of like an outfit Selena wore, or at least that Jennifer Lopez wore playing Selena. Anyway, it's just something I noticed. I like when the mailman comes. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> also, the mailman is the dude from the video for Just Give Me Cash. Huh. Another Wolves of Glendale song. I ate my dinner over the sink. Why do I do that? I have a table and a chair. Why don't I sit? I love to sit. <laughs> it's the pauses. It's like you get a long phrase, and there's a lot of comedy built in with like having a long phrase in a language that some people may not be familiar with, and having the translation be something so benign. Uh, or sometimes, you know, e even in improv, uh, some people will have like you know, there's there's an improv trope sketch of like you're doing a translation, somebody speaking a foreign language that's made up, and they say a very long thing, and the translator just says like one or two words. There's a lot of built-in comedy for something like that. And it's kind of troping, it's kind of hacky, but at the same time, it gets a laugh, so it works. Um, but, like, there's also something so real about, yes, you said a long thing, the, the response, the translation is a long thing, but we're going to break it up, because I sang it really beautifully, and now I'm going to show you where the pauses are, where the sentences end, and give, like, a little bit more of a pause between them, because I'm actually having these thoughts rather than just singing lyrics. Uh, having that kind of realism built into the comedy works really, really well. Um, also, yeah, Melissa, great singing voice. I'm not super familiar with, uh, with a lot of things that you've done. Uh, I've heard you tell jokes in the speaking voice, but the singing voice, really, really nice. Loving this. My life sounds I, 
I say, like, there's great singing, and then, like, on the chorus, it sounds like she's affecting, like, a specific vocal style that's supposed to sound a little off up until the last line, too. So, like, all the Spanish stuff sounds, again, beautiful, exotic, romantic. And then you get to the chorus, which is sung in English, and the the vocal, the almost nasal vocals that she's using for the speaking voice come through in the English chorus sung vocals up until the last line. So it's uh, you're getting the weird little dichotomy between the romanticized, exotic-sounding language, and then eh, here's the English stuff, <laughs> which again is a good comedy build. The pause before there's no Spanish word for pumpernickel, <laughs> and I'm just gonna sing the word pumpernickel. <laughs> I'm looking forward to what's pumpernickel in the translation. <laughs> I made a list of my top favorite bread. It goes sourdough, wheat, rye, and pumpernickel. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I love the uh, the elevation and the harmonies in the background from Wolves because they do they do great harmonies and I was I was hoping for it too. It's actually boring as fun and they like they do this raise in the back. It's so good. Um, really good collaboration here. Really good. I I, I enjoyed uh, Melissa's gags and and the the dichotomy between the Spanish and the English translation and of course what Wolves brought to it with the harmonies and the musicality. Really really good stuff. Bravo guys. Everyone involved. This was great. <laughs> fantastic. Okay. Uh, that was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. I hope you did too. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. By the way, if you want to see these videos without me yammering all over, all over them, links in the description box below. And if you want to help the channel out like these people over here do, uh, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Good.